Hi everybody, this is Will Bowen with today's Jumpstart. Well, it's perfectly appropriate or absolutely karmic that I am recording this video today in this time and in this place because I've actually already recorded this video and there was a problem with the audio quality. I did a number of videos while walking along the Hongpu River in uh, Shanghai, China last week and the uh, wind was so bad it was blowing my microphone around and Miroslav, who is my editor and also my quality Quality control person and who does his best not to let me do anything foolish. By the way, he's the one that does all the cool new uh, thumbnails, the images of me, like flying a plane and stuff like that and being in a car. That's all Miroslav. So uh, say yay Miroslav in the comment section to, 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 to praise him. Miroslav is his name. Uh, anyway, um, Miroslav said that the uh, audio was not usable, was not good enough up to our standards, and so I needed to re-record it. So I, of course, was disappointed, and it makes sense that we are disappointed. I should. I'm, this video is about overcoming disappointment. It's not about not having disappointment. Now, when I had first recorded this video, I had the night before done a speech for 4,500 Chinese uh, insurance executives, uh, the, the top performers in the entire country of China. And I was their keynote speaker. And I had really looked forward to this. And it was an extravaganza. There was lighting, like a better than a Broadway show. There was 50 fountains, I counted them, 50 fountains built into the stage between me and the audience. Now, what they decided to do was something I'd never done before in all my speaking abroad, and that is simultaneous translation. They had literally someone hearing me speak and translating it. And I'm here to tell you, especially with my, my Southern dialect and, and colloquialisms, that just does not work. And people literally got up and walked out on my speech, which never ever happens. I get standing ovations. It, what, what usually does happen is we'll start out with 100 people watching my speech or 500 people and at the end there'll be an extra 5% because people will literally get people from the hotel or wherever I'm speaking and say, man, you got to hear this because it's a compelling topic, complaining. No one is talking about it in the sense of it's a something that we simply do. So uh, I decided that I was going to get up there and do this speech with this simultaneous translation and half the people, as I say, got up and walked out. I was so disappointed. And I wanted to share with you that we all get disappointed. Now, um, I know for a fact, this is the first time this has ever happened in dozens of years of speaking, so I know it wasn't you know, my fault. I also know there are things to learn from it. So I wanted to give you three steps to overcoming disappointment. Number one, acknowledge it. Acknowledge it. Yes, you're disappointed. Whatever it is to you, if it's important, acknowledge it. Number two, share it. I don't mean going around and complaining to everyone, but when this happened and I felt so bruised, so I, I, just something I had never seen before, watching people get up and leave, it was so uh, heartbreaking that I called my daughter, who, who is also my business partner, and I talked to her about this, and I explained what happened. But then the third thing is, give yourself no more than 24 hours to feel the disappointment, okay? Now, if it's a major thing, let's don't split hairs, if it's the death of a child, or the death of a dog, or the death of a relationship, anything involving death, including <laughs> the death of a career, whatever that is, Give yourself longer, of course, okay? But what I'm saying is, if it's a disappointment like what I had, give yourself 24 hours to feel it, and at the end of that 24 hours, pull out a pen and a piece of paper, and this is critical, and say, what did I learn? So the final step is, it's acknowledge, share, learn. Acknowledge that it happened, share it with someone, and then what did you learn? And I learned a lot, I learned a lot. Number one, my PowerPoint slides should have been in Chinese, not in English. They didn't translate them. Number two, someone had told me that my PowerPoint slides were exactly the way I had given them. No, they were not. Someone had gone in and just changed them all over the place. So every time I clicked a slide, it was like stepping on a landmine in the middle of my presentation. So I learned a lot. Not only that, I learned, well, a lot of things. But what's important for me is that I learned. What's important for you is that you learn. So acknowledge your disappointment, <laughs> even 
when the audio doesn't work, recording a video. Number two, share it. Share it. Don't run around and whine about it. Share it with somebody who understands and can have compassion what you're feeling. And then within 24 hours, ask yourself, what did I learn? Unfortunately, disappointment is not a if it happens thing. It's a when it happens. So when it happens, remember, acknowledge it, share it, and most importantly, within 24 hours, learn from it. Enjoy today. We'll talk tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you.